So it's no secret that Jada Pinkett Smith and her husband Will Smith continue to stack up L's at a pretty steady pace. Ever since Will agreed to go on that red table talk, I feel like things really just haven't been the same for the Smith family. We also got clarity on the misconception that Will gave August permission to sleep with his wife. The only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Right. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> and now in the latest rendition of How Can We Screw Up Our Careers, Jada has decided to take what could have been a massive W for not only herself, but black people all around the world, and reverse Uno it into yet another massive L. It's like the Hell's Kitchen beef Wellington at this point, they're just serving it up on the nightly. Because Jada recently got this opportunity to produce a documentary drama series, and the whole concept behind this was to tell the story of different African queens, which sounds like a pretty great concept for a show. I think it could have been really popular, and supplied her and her family with some much needed positive attention and praise. Above that, if the execution was correct, then it would make other studios more willing to take a chance on highlighting black history. But let's be real, this was Netflix and Jada Pinkett Smith herself even said during an interview about the show, we don't often get to see or hear stories about black queens, and that was really important to me, as well for my daughter, and just for my community to be able to know those stories because there are tons of them. And there really are plenty of powerful African queens that she could have selected and shines a light on for her series. Stories that could have been uncovered that are not widely known to an American audience. But I guess that would have taken too much time and actual research for both her and Netflix. So instead they chose Cleopatra, who based on all historical documentation, was Greek, not black. When women ruled with unparalleled power, as warriors, queens, mothers of nations, and there is none among them more iconic than Cleopatra. I would die for Egypt. What would you die for? And the theory here is that they chose Cleopatra over these other actual African queens because they thought the popularity of her name alone would make the series much more recognizable. Which really throws all of her previous logic and reasoning for the series right out the window. Like, is this about ratings or is this about historical significance? Like, imagine if there was a documentary about famous black musicians and for some reason we had Darius Rucker playing Elvis. That's how absurd this concept is. And the fact that Jada and this director thought they were gonna get away with this is hilariously stupid. I would come home and I would tell her about what I was learning. You know, oh, we're learning about the Greeks and we're learning about the Romans. And today we learned about Cleopatra. And I remember clear as day, her saying to me, Sholly, I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. Like, don't get me wrong, we all understand that in these docudrama type series, the truth is definitely going to be stretched a bit and things are going to be embellished from time to time for the sake of entertainment, but this is just crazy. When they announced the show and put out the trailer, it got bombarded with hate and ridicule. Even an Egyptologist chimed in to denounce the series, saying that it is applying our racial constructs to the ancient world and that is anachronistic. Hell, the show's director even admitted that they made the character black for political reasons. She has become an icon. I am a god. It just makes me think this was all meant to be more of a political statement than empowering black queens. And now even government officials from Egypt spoke up about their anger with this false depiction of their history. This is all led up to the show being one of the lowest rated of all time and Jada racking up yet another L. Even Netflix is once again taking the chorizo after Egyptian lawyer Mohamed al Semeri filed a case with the public prosecutor to shut down the Netflix platform in Egypt following the release of Queen Cleopatra. The Egyptian lawyer has demanded that serious legal action be taken against those responsible for the making of the documentary. He blamed the Netflix management team for its partation in this crime, demanding a thorough investigation of the process as well as the overall cancellation of Netflix's streaming service in Egypt as a consequence. The complaints submitted against Netflix stated, most of what the Netflix platform displays do not conform to Islamic and societal values and principles, especially Egyptian ones. 
And one more thing I will say about this story is that there was a headline going around that has even trended on Twitter that claims that Jada Pinkett blamed the failure of this show on white supremacy when in fact there was no documented proof of her ever saying that. So I just thought I would put an end to that misinformation because I thought she was going out like that gay director who blamed straight people for not wanting to see his movie about the journey of a gay man. Like dude, maybe you just weren't a good enough actor to play that lead. This happens to be Bisexual Awareness Week and no one has acknowledged it! Lesbian History Month was in March! Nobody said a goddamn thing! Of course, lesbians get a month and we get a week. And when it's getting to the point where even I care more about misinformation than Jada and the woman behind this series, then that's pretty sad considering they were trying to document history. Like I said, they had this beautiful opportunity with this series and they really pissed it all away. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Have y'all checked out Queen Cleopatra? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy Tan Superman, and some other massive L's out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!